what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience plus ROM on this device. This is how the about section looks like we have this playboy kind of logo up there then we have the android version and the security patch is latest of June 5th 2020 not quite July yet of course and this is the 5th July 2020 build but yes the security patch is not of July. And here we have the stock kernel as per G kernel over here. Now let me tell you why did I flash this ROM? Well I was on the Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. Then I switched to the AOSPA ROM which is the Quartz 4. And with that ROM it set it up fine, everything was fine. But then suddenly I unlocked the device with the fingerprint scanner and I saw a black screen. I was like what the hell is happening? Then I switched to another ROM I think which was the Corvus OS or something the latest build 7.0 it was I guess. Then with that ROM too that same problem happened and even after I rebooted the phone the screen was totally black and it was not waking up on the quad sword but on the Corvus OS yes it was opening but like the screen took almost a minute to wake up. So yeah that bug I have noticed over here that is why I posted everywhere on YouTube on like any other social media platform on Twitter and stuff I did tweet about it. So if you guys follow me on Facebook Twitter or Instagram you should know that I did that post because of that reason. Well after that I switched to this pixel experience from yes this is a little bit older when compared to those builds but I wanted to see if the same bug is happening with the older pixel experience ROM or the evolution X ROM or something. So yeah, I switched to this one, but then I saw that like it was not simply happening on this pixel experience ROM. Right now, let me show you. As you can see, it unlocks fine. It does not show me a black screen, but on those ROMs, right when I unlock the device from the always on display, just like this, if I unlock and I see just a black screen over there on those ROMs. So yeah, that is why I switched to this ROM. I saw this bug is not there. And one more thing I wanted to clarify is Evolution X was heating up because that was based on the latest 12.01 firmware, the latest MIUI firmware. I thought that is the reason of heating issue on the latest Evolution X ROM. But after switching to this Pixel Experience Plus ROM, let me reconfirm about this, that this is not a firmware issue that might be the, a kernel, the stock kernel issue of Evolution X ROM. On the Pixel Experience ROM, this is too based on the latest firmware, which is the 12.0.1, or I'm on the latest firmware 12.0.1. And with this firmware and on this Pixel Express ROM, I have no issues with heating and stuff. It does not heat at all over here. So let me show you the things over here you get what you get in Pixel Experience Plus ROM. To the left of the home screen, we have the Google Now cards, of course. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel and stuff. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer, just like this. The widgets and stuff are working totally fine, as you are noticing here. And from the launcher settings, I have disabled the suggestions over here as you can see and this is of course the pixel launcher as you can see from here stock camera is the ANX camera over here let me show you and with the stock camera as you can see the front camera LED and stuff is actually working fine no issues with the front camera LED and switching between lenses is totally fine here too as you can see and in terms of video mode you will get up to 4k 60 fps option with the rear camera over here and with the front camera, you will get up to 1080p 30 and 720p 30 FPS. So no 60 FPS over here still. And I have also installed Google Camera 7. So this is working totally fine. Well, the settings did not appear. Well, right now it did. Let me show you the night set and stuff is there and they are working totally fine. I have clicked some pictures. Yes, the Google Camera 7 is working fine. If you want to install this, here is a card for you. In the system panel, let me go advanced. Here, this is how it looks like. We do have a system updater and let me go to this device customization here we have the traffic indicator but i'm not using it i use a custom app for this and here we have the system icons you can enable the headset bluetooth extra icons from here let me go back we have the vaulty icon and stuff of course the vaulty icon works and the clock position you can change to right left or center then we have the show seconds am pm style etc battery status style is there you can change it to icon portrait circle text and then we have the battery percentage choosing option the position you can change next to the icon or inside the icon brightness slider is there you can disable it if you want to then we have the auto brightness then the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar as you can see this is working totally fine here and we have the quick pull down choosing option from right or left then we have the tile visibility quick setting tile stint then we have column and row number customization and also we have the blur behind this quick setting stuff 
In styles of the quick setting toggle, you can change the animation of this to flip or rotate. Let me go back into buttons. Here we have the system navigations. Of course, the Android 10 gestures are working totally fine. But the thing is, you cannot change this fill bar size over here, which I kind of miss over here, to be honest. And two and three button navigations are there too. We have the edge long swipe if you need this and power menu we have the option and the advanced reboot is right now over here as you can see this advanced restart setting is there inside buttons earlier it was in the developer options we had to enable the developer option just for this option so yeah this is a good thing that they move this into this button section really handy feature and as you can see you can directly reboot to recovery and fast boot from here then we have the long press for torch of course and we have the control playback and stuff the volume control playback let me go back. We have the front camera sounds and stuff and from here you can choose the sounds. You can disable it if you want to. Inside display settings, this is how it looks like. We have the dark theme and stuff. This is working totally fine. Adaptive or auto brightness is there. Inside live display, we have the picture adjustment. So hue, saturation, intensity and contrast options are there. Then inside styles and wallpapers, you can customize the theme from here. Let me show you. Go to custom and choose the colors from here. And as you can see, there are a bunch of colors right now over here. You can choose from like these many options a lot of color choosing options are there so you won't miss any kind of accent colors from a lot of tints of red to green to blue everything is there let me go back here we have the clock section and from here you can change this to any clock we also have this spider-man kind of clock then also these many options are there so yeah a lot of options for even the lock screen clocks just like this this is the lineage wise kind of thing and inside wallpapers we have this come alive section for the live wallpapers and I have already enabled a live wallpaper which is this one and you can download and apply any of these live wallpapers well if you want the MIUI 12 kind of live wallpapers you can get them by clicking on the card right here now let me scroll down we have the colors section and it is boosted by default and if you scroll down we have the screen saver then the clock screen display and stuff is there we have some more options over here if you want to see this and we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well over here on the status bar so that is a really good thing wake up on plug you can disable ambient display you can have that option and anti flicker or streaming mode is here and i have also enabled it now let me show you the battery settings this is how it looks like it has the screen on time over here in terms of battery life i would say it can definitely give you about six to seven hours of screen on time easily or more than that with your usage the battery life is great i have no issues with that 18 watt fast charging is working totally fine here and here in the sound settings if you scroll down we do have the me audio dirac and here you can choose from these many options as you can see there is all this me audio headphones over here i have been using with this youth edition and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just great you can also use this hi-fi audio option if you want that we have some sound presets too now let me go back and here the volume panel looks like this let me show you as you can see it looks pretty fine and you can expand it just like this we can adjust the media volume and the alarm volume and stuff or the notification volume from here and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here of course and you can disable this touch vibration touch sound etc dial pad tones and from here we do have the vibrate for calls option and in terms of the stock dialer as you can see the calling is working totally fine here but there is no call recording option at least by default but the video calling option and stuff is there and Valdi calling over like voice over Wi-Fi and stuff everything is working over here you should not worry about it now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed from the always on display it unlocked now let's try with left thumb from the always on display unlocked okay sometimes the always on display does not appear as you can see I have to double tap so yeah from the lock screen and it unlocked the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast no issues with the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see it unlocked again now let's try with night light turned on from the always on display unlocked and it unlocked again with the left thumb from the always on display with night light turned on now from the lock screen okay so it did not unlock now now it did let's try with the left thumb with the night light turned on from the lock screen so yeah it unlocked let me quickly set up the face unlock and show you guys the face unlock speed and stuff okay so the setup was pretty quick now let's just double tap on the always on display and as you can see if you swipe up the screen unlocks almost instantaneously as you can see the face unlock speed seems to be pretty fast over here 
not a problem talking about the quick settings panel this is what you get and you can add a bunch of stuff from here as you can see there are a lot of options over here we have the screen recorder and stuff if you want that we have the volume panel sync always on display and stuff screencast ambient display caffeine mode etc which screen recorder is this okay so this seems like this is a stock android kind of screen recorder and as you can see it already started recording the UI seems pretty fast with the screen recorder like recording the screen and it is not a oxygenous kind of screen recorder you can disable heads up and stuff from here so that is not a problem but no fps info option is there now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the ram management and opening of speeds here let's open facebook twitter play store youtube all the apps seems to be opening pretty fine here let's open spotify google home okay now let's open all the apps from memory again so as you can see the whole ui is battery smooth i have no issues over here with uh, like app opening up speeds or the memory management even though this is a 6 gb ram unit all the apps do stay in memory so yeah pretty much the ram management is great And here is the end to do and Geekbench score of this ROM. And the DRM info shows as level 1 here, so you can definitely stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p in this ROM right out of the box. Of course, if you have the Indian Redmi K20 Pro. And it does pass the safety net test, so you can use Google Pay or any other banking apps right out of the box. You don't need to worry about Magic Hide or something over here, just for the banking apps at least. So yeah, the Pixel Experience Plus ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro is still rocking. And pretty much it is a really great option and if you're worried about the evolution access heating issue on the latest build you can definitely switch to this pixel experience plus rom as a daily driver this will pretty much work flawlessly in my opinion as of right now so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now